Hey guys, in the previous uh, calculus lesson, we showed you guys how to differentiate um, an equation by uh, using the formula. And in this lesson, we want to talk about how to do it without the formula. In other words, how the formula was discovered in the first place. So here is a curve. and as you guys know, it, for finding a gradient, what we did was we picked two points on the curve and we found the difference in the y-axis, so we found the rise divided by the difference in the x-axis, which is the run. So basically, the gradient is rise over run which is also the same thing as the change in the y value over the change in the x value okay so now let's because we're trying to um, find an algebraic algebraic uh, solution to the gradient an algebraic equation for the gradient so uh, we can't just substitute the numbers in what we're gonna do is use symbols to represent the gradient now the gradient as you guys know from the past is described using the equation the gradient equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 now that is quite simple and useful when we are just substituting the numbers from the graph into the equation however um, there are too many variables in this formula y2 x2 y1 x1 there are four different variables and what we want to do is we want to express everything in this equation using one variable only and that is the x1 value so basically we're gonna now express each of these um, variables in terms of x1 okay so let's look at how we can express x2 using x1 the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna define the first point here, point A, as the x value here, I'm going to call that x. And then the difference from point A to point B, the difference, the horizontal difference from point A to point B, the run, I'm going to call that length h. So the run is equal to h. And then the second point, instead of calling it x2 we can call it x plus h as the second point so therefore rewriting that gradient we can now say instead of x2 and x1 we can say x plus h minus x okay now let's express y2 and y1 using the x values now as you can see y1 was the same thing as uh, f of x alright y is equal to f of x so instead of writing y1 I'm gonna write it as a function of x where y1 is and then instead of writing y2 so here we have y1 for the uh, first point and y2 for the second point instead of writing y2 we can now write um, y2 is uh, a function of x plus h right because 
For the second point, we're saying what is the y value? Well, the y value is uh, obtained from x2, which is x plus h. So basically, y2 is expressed in terms of x2. x2 is x plus h. So therefore, y2 is described as the function of x plus h. So simplifying this, the gradient is therefore a function of x plus h minus a function of x divided by now x plus h minus x the x is actually cancel out so it's just h on the bottom now if you remember when we were talking about in GeoGebra we, if we want to find the gradient at a single point what we do is we join the line through the two points that we have and we bring the points close as close to each other as possible and then the line becomes the tangent now the same thing works in terms of uh, finding the gradient where h is going to be extremely close in fact it's going to be pretty much zero but the thing is when we have the denominator of a fraction as zero we can't get an answer so therefore we're going to say the gradient is going to be the limit of the function f bracket x plus h minus f of x over h as h approaches zero as the two points become infinitely close together which means their x coordinates are the difference between their x coordinates approach zero um, that's when we can find their gradient function now instead of writing m as the gradient because this is a gradient function we call it f dash x which is the same thing as the gradient of f of x okay so now let's try using um, the function uh, f of x is equal to x squared if you remember we differentiated this in our last lesson using the formula and we know the answer is going to be 2x but we just want to see how we can get to that so what you do is firstly we know f of x is x squared so we're going to define the function of x plus h as x plus h squared okay so now we can substitute everything into this formula so f dash x is equal to the limit of h approaches zero limit of the function as h approaches zero um, the function is fx plus h which is x plus h squared minus f of x which is x squared over h now if you remember with limits if we have the denominator as zero what we have to do is simplify the fraction first so this becomes uh, simplifying this first part the bracket the we're gonna expand the brackets so that becomes x squared plus h squared plus uh, 2xh uh, minus x squared over h and now we're gonna get rid of the x squared minus x squared on the top so this becomes the limit of h 
sorry, the limit as h approaches 0, 2xh plus h squared, we're going to factorize the top. So we isolate h, sorry, bring h to the front of the bracket, h times 2x plus h over h, h divided by h, cancel down to 1, so it's just the limit of h, sorry, limit as, as h approaches 0 of 2x plus h. Now we can simply substitute 0 where h is, so the answer is just 2x. So here is how you differentiate without using the derivative, the differentiation formula. And this process is called differentiation using first principles. Okay, I hope you guys learned something today and I'll see you again next time.